This is a cheeseburger. It is very unhealthy. And these are cigarettes, also unhealthy. However, when you're in West Virginia, the unhealthiest state in all of America, this is the norm. Do you consider yourself healthy? No, absolutely not. No, I consider healthy. I have three questions to answer while I'm here in West Virginia. One, why is this the unhealthiest place in America? Two, are people even trying to get healthy? And three, what are the solutions? What can be done? There's a fucking spider in my, there's a spider. Oh my. First thing I'm gonna do is go check out the places that I think are causing the most damage here. So I'll be checking out some of the most popular restaurants here in this town to see what the food is about and seeing what the people have to say. Let's go. I was gonna order the most popular item on each menu. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, my friend. Total up to calories. We are looking at a solid 1,600 calories. This is probably 650 calories. And then a full Mountain Dew this big, 300 calories. 1,890 calories in front of me. And of course, taste tested. Okay, everybody knows the rules, one bite. And then I'm gonna rate it. Is it worth the calories? Wow, oh my God. I think the most dangerous part of this is the amount of dopamine that this food gives you. On top of this being very high calories, it was only $9.73. So we're looking at about 1,000 calories in front of me right now for only $7.79. That means you could feed someone's entire day's worth of calories for less than $10 here. Relatively cheap and tasty. No wonder fast food is so popular here. A McDonald's within 20 feet. And there's a Baskin Robbins a block down the road. So we are just in fast food land. In fact, I only found one non-commercial fast food restaurant. I've never been here. I've never seen that they do a tray on the window. That is convenience at its finest. And if you thought the previous places were cheap, $2.79 cheeseburger, $3.29. All in front of me is under $20 and about 2,500 calories, probably more. Oh, oh my God, outstanding. So far, I've learned that fast food is literally everywhere and it's delicious, no duh. Now I wanted to interview fast food customers and workers to get their take on West Virginia's reputation as the unhealthiest state. Do you think it is accurate that West Virginia is the unhealthiest state in America? I wanna say yes and no. Most of the places that come here are fast food. I do say it's pretty you, th you, you think so? Yeah. What do you like best about the food here? The price, taste is pretty delicious. Most of our meals come in bigger portions than any other state. So people order bigger meals here? Yes. How long have you been working here? Uh, four and a half years. Okay, so do you see the same people come in every day? Yeah. Do you prefer eating here compared to home? Yes. You do? Yes. If I don't get a cheeseburger within a week, I start, get, I start to get agitated, man. <laughs> what do you think is the main causation of West Virginia being so unhealthy? Laziness. You think so? It's just plain out laziness. People don't even want to work. It's harder for small businesses to come up versus chain restaurants coming in. Makes sense. Who's the blame for the obesity and, and all those problems? Anybody but themselves to blame. What do you think is making the most damage here? Food, substance, low income, all the above? Like, what do you think is the, is the main problem? I think the main problem would be the substance abuse which leads to low income. Beyond obesity, what else is the problem here in West Virginia? Yeah, there's a whole lot of substance use here. What exactly are people doing? Yeah. The worst of the worst. Pretty much, yeah. Right now we have pretty high opioid ep epidemic going on, cause so we're fighting that right now. I had now learned that the reason West Virginia is so unhealthy goes way beyond their food choices. I wanted to continue my investigation away from the restaurants. So I ventured to a local Walmart to ask some more questions. West Virginia is said to be the unhealthiest state in America. Do you agree with that statement? Yes, I do. Why do you, why do you agree with that? Uh, Cause there's a lot of obesity here. What do you do to stay healthy? Me, um, well, my doctor just told me a few things I didn't like, so, I mean, as of now, I just started going to the gym last week, so. Oh, there you go. I'm trying to get congrats, my, congrats. Get my life together, man. Go. He's gonna have guns <laughs> in no time. Yeah, man. I got a daughter on the way, so I definitely want to be here for that, so. Amazing. Before I lost my leg, I used to walk lifting weights time to time, and watching what you eat, you know. What do you think could be causing the unhealthiness in West Virginia? I feel like the junk food's cheaper than like the actual healthy food. What is the hardest part about living in West Virginia? Fast food restaurants is the main problem. Sitting there bringing in a lot of them instead of bringing in a lot of uh, good businesses to where people can actually have good steady, you know, income coming in. Instead, they make restaurants. There ain't enough jobs for people to get actual careers, you know. There's 
there's nothing here. People have to go to different states just to get good, steady income coming in, you know. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Seriously. I could totally see how the low income of West Virginia could lead to almost a hopeless feeling amongst the people. I ended up interviewing a few more, but the last person I spoke to had some very interesting insights. I am here with Logan. Do you think that this region in America being called the unhealthiest place is accurate? Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Why? There's nothing to do around here. You have no hobbies. The only thing you can do for work, coal mines. You can't go to the gym. We've got three gyms in the whole area. Do you go to any of them? No, absolutely not. Do you work out? No. Why, why do you choose not to work out? I got a job, work 60 hours a week, coal mines. It's hard to find time to do anything else. The time I get home and I'm with the woman at the house, family time, that's about all I got. Where's your main place to get food? Fast food, okay. just biscuit, the most unhealthy things you could imagine. What is truly causing it to be so unhealthy here? Lack of activities. There, There is nothing to do around here. You go to work, you go home. That's that's it. That's it. I couldn't argue that. The only things I could see around me were fast food and bars. For myself, I could see how even I could get wrapped up in this unhealthy cycle. Good thing I came prepared. I luckily have packed my food. I got my Flex Pro meals with me and it is covering me from having to eat out at some horrible restaurant that is very unhealthy. One of the best parts about Flex Pro meals is literally that it's a high protein meal. It has some of the highest protein content per meal compared to all other competitors. For me personally, I am constantly traveling, constantly busy and always on the road. So these meals make it super easy. You don't have to prep them. All you gotta do is just microwave them and it makes it so easy to hit your macros, hit your calories, hit your protein for the day. If you order Flex Pro meals from Monday through Friday during normal business hours, you can get these meals delivered the next day. One of the hardest things about sticking to your diet is enjoying your food. But luckily with the Flavorverse and all the different options from Flex Pro meals, they've got you covered. Why waste your money on fast food and unhealthy options when you have the convenience of food being delivered to your door for under $10 per meal? It is $8.50 per meal to get 21 meals meals a week. Use code JESSE to get 40% off your first order of high quality, affordable meals. Click that first link in the description. So we're going to a trailer park neighborhood. We're going to see how people in West Virginia live, how they take care of themselves, and overall their entire lifestyle. This is something that I've never done, so let's go check it out. Any friendly neighbors that would be open to talk to? Most of them are <laughs> so. Oh, really? Nice to meet you. I'm Jesse. How's Gary. it going? You Gary, yep. do you agree that West Virginia is the unhealthiest state in America? Oh, absolutely. The only why, thing why do you say that? The only thing we have really is just processed food. You know, we don't have anything else going for us. The economy's in the crapper, you know, so we really don't have the funds to go out, hit the gyms. We're struggling as it is. If you don't have money, you don't have health. Do you think a lot of people are relying on state uh, sort of checks to come in? Funds. I mean, yeah, but a lot of the people don't have, you know, much of a choice. If they lose the state money, then they're homeless. You know, the homeless problem's real. The problem's getting out of hand. Most of my neighbors, I don't care if they see it, but most of them are addicted to no, whatever, you know, it's a problem. It, once you hit the bottom, it's hard to get up. You know, I went from having 155 acres of land living off by ourself up on Midway to this because they raised rent. We got nine people living in, in this three bedroom trailer, just trying to survive. Nine people? Nine people, yeah. Wow. And what do you do to, to try to stay healthy for yourself? This, man, I get out with the kids, I take them in the woods, I'm trying to teach them how to grow green beans. Like right <laughs> that, now. No, that's awesome. So. <laughs> I'm just trying to move, keep the body moving. Well, I appreciate your honesty. You seem like a great father. Oh, thank you, buddy. Is it, is it dangerous living here? Uh, I got bullet holes in my shed, so yeah. Holy crap. Did that happen while you were here? That happened last year, yeah. We oh lived here. Oh my gosh. Nine millimeters what hit our building. Right here. Wow. My children's bedroom's right here. And if it wasn't for all the bull crap that's in here, all the just miscellaneous junk, it would have went to the trailer and probably killed my son. Wow. After hearing that horrifying story, I realized it truly wasn't worth interviewing anyone else in the trailer park. Is there anyone else that you, like, I hear someone doing the woodwork over there. I don't want to knock and intrude or- The trailer out front, avoid at all costs, they're violent. So after saying goodbye to Gary, my cameraman and I headed over to a different neighborhood to continue the investigation. Hopefully nothing bad happens and all is good. This is something my mom would kill me if she knew I was doing, but we gotta find the truth. We're here in Huntington and it's said to be the unhealthiest city in America. And I wanna just get your opinion on, you know, your thoughts with that that statement right there. Probably about right. What is, what's your biggest struggle living out here? Uh, I, I was addicted to drugs. I'm not no more, but that's what a lot of things, a lot of these people are on around here. What is the biggest problem here in West Virginia? The academic. Everybody's on here. The biggest problem around here is the lack of grocery stores that have good food. Do you think there's a lot of health problems here? Yeah, yeah. That, what are they? Lung cancers. Is that from smoking? Yeah. Produce has gone through the roof, so a lot of people can't afford the produce anymore, so they buy the cheap stuff. What's the biggest thing you've seen change? The 
Has it just fully taken over the city? Fully taken over the city. Everybody's walking around zombies, uh, falling everywhere. It seems like people do wish to be healthy, but because of the poor economy and the infrastructure overrun by substances, it'd be hard for anyone to try to break away from the bad habits. But not impossible. Logan, who I interviewed earlier today, invited me to meet him and his friend Noah at a restaurant to hear more about their story about overcoming substance abuse. When I was 12 years old, I got in with the wrong crowd and really messed my life up with some bad substance. It's real strong, especially in the younger generations. You know, when you're real young, it's very easy to get into around here. Did you ever get into it? Yeah, 12 years old. 12? Yeah. And didn't get into rehab until I was 20. If you want, I can show you where it all began. If you're okay with that, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So right now we are headed to where Logan and Noah grew up and also started a substance addiction when they were literally kids. Right now, we're at our old childhood spot, man, where we used to come, and unfortunately, this is the first place where we came and bought our first bag of substance when we were about 12, 13. 12? Yeah. You too, 12? Yeah, 12. And that's like a normal thing here in West Virginia, like that young? I mean, sure, it's other places, but like, is that culture here, that's normal? Pretty much, yeah. What was your biggest struggle growing up? I always felt like I needed a, a mental crutch. A lot of it was me just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, or even if I wanted to, continue my life. Is it still a struggle for you? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime I have a hard moment or something I have to push past, I don't feel like I can do it instantly. I want to go back really? to that. Really? Yeah. It's just a default thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so much easier that way to me in my head. It's the easiest route. Do you think that because you guys have stuck together so much that it got you out of it? I think so. Yeah. Logan was a huge help for me whenever I went through my drug addiction. And when I made it to rehab, he was a consistent caller. I talked to him every day and he kept my head up and let me know that, you know, he's going to be there when I get out and he's going to support me and feel like I tried to do the same for him when he went through his struggles a little later in life. And I thank God every day that he pulled me out. Now I'm 10 years clean and still my message is, speak about it. Logan and Noah had shown me that through determination and community, you can overcome the struggles that life gives you. It brought me to my final destination, the local Planet Fitness, where I wanted to see if there was hope for West Virginia and if a healthy lifestyle is still attainable. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony? Yeah. Jesse, good to meet you, man. Nice Appreciate you. it. So do you consider yourself healthy? Fairly, yeah. What are you doing to stay healthy? I actually started watching my meals better. I at least work out at least four days, three, four days a week. You're, you're pretty buff, bro. I mean, you, you, I see the veins and everything. You're looking good, man. Outside, like in the city, would you say that it's not popular to go to the gym? Uh, no, probably not, no. What is the hardest part for you in your health journey? Mostly eating, eating right. Do you think it is hard to be healthy in this town? Most definitely. Why do you say so? Mostly because the jobs here, they're all weird schedules. Too many fast food restaurants. You just gotta find the right menu. But I mean, if you got, if you got the power for it, you know what I mean, the mindset, you can do anything. What motivated you to get into the gym today? I just want to stay healthy and want to feel good about myself. Do you think fitness is on the rise in this city? Yeah, okay. I would think. What keeps you healthy? Staying in the gym, staying active, moving. I retired recently within a year and I've just tried to uh, find something that's positive that I can get out and do and work every day. So I try to get in the gym at least four or five times a week. Awesome. Do you consider yourself healthy? Well, I just had an open heart surgery oh, like really? 90 days ago from cancer treatment 25 years ago. Holy crap. And you're in the gym today. Let's. He's got this. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, respect. Even though this is the unhealthiest city in America, people are still making so much progress and not having any excuses. Whether it's heart problems that they already had and they're trying to defeat addiction problems that they've had in the past and they have defeated, people are making progress, people are staying fit. What do you think the potential solution could be here for this town? Groundwork, people out in the streets, people helping, there's nobody helping. Everybody is just watching and nobody's helping. Better healthcare coverage, um, more gyms, more parks. You have to want to get out of the house and get on your feet. The solution one is to help, you know, the fallen, the people who's already on the streets. If we could try to get them off back to contributing to society, that's the first step, I think. Better your community, better your family, and better yourself. Until the next investigation, don't forget to stay relentless. Peace.